G'day flatties and globe defenders, it's Critical Think from Down Under. How about that, two videos in one day? Well, this afternoon there was an ISS transit, so even though I could film it from the backyard, I wanted to get a better view from another place, so I went just a couple of kilometres down the road, and uh, wow, I finally nailed a solar transit. That's great, I had a solar filter, and proper solar filter, and... Let's just get right into this. So how do we find a solar transit with the ISS? We go to this website, transitfinder.com, and we look at the results, we search, and uh, me good mate Wes Wally pointed this out for me, and um, he's reminded me to go out today. Now, as you can see, it only happens at a very particular point in time. Now, the heliocentric model can predict where and when the ISS will be. You flatties have got to think about how the heck can that happen? This sort of thing is impossible on a flat Earth. So I can go to this place uh, at that particular time. I only have 0 0.76 seconds to capture this. There's a limited opportunity. You go to this place of all places on the planet, and uh, there it is. It pops up. That's a confirmation of globe. Now here's the transit path across. Uh, it goes right across the Redcliffe Peninsula, and where this red marker is, is I picked this spot, which is very close to the center line, and here's the Google street view of that park and there's my P900 sitting there in a position to take the ISS transit so let's look at the results <laughs> 